Welcome back to the channel. Here is a little video I did of how to wrap your bike in vinyl to change the graphics. It was supposed to be a bit fun, but actually it turned out to be a massive pain in the ass and I probably won't do it again. It's done now. If you wanna know how to do it, watch this video. So here's the bike then, and here are the bits which I, I, I've never really liked. It's this kind of fluoro yellow um, accents, kind of on the fork, the bottom of the head tube, and on the chain stays. I don't know, I just don't really like it. So uh, I'm gonna play around with a few different colors. So I'm gonna start off on the easy bit, which is the chain stays. I'm gonna keep those, those black whatever, because I haven't got the, the patterns for the giant logos and everything. So anything that's got text on it or intricate graphics is just gonna be block black. But things like this, this area, I should be able to get away with doing colours if I'm neat enough. But I'll need to come up with a way how to do the pattern for this shape, um, like the net, the 2D net, so I can cut the vinyl accurately round that. Um, obviously I want the new colour to cover it, so I've got an idea where I can make a net from that um, and scale it up. Maybe I'll scale it to like 102%, so when I cut it out I know that it's going to cover it just enough around the edge, but keep the same contour. And then the fork should be quite easy, you've just got a straight line. Um, and then I'll cover that logo up with, with a block as well. So the, dif the difficult bit's gonna be this bit. The rest of it should be pretty easy, but like I said, it's all in the, the cleaning and preparation. What are you gonna need to do this job? Very, very simple, don't need much. Cutting mat comes in handy. Craft knife, straight edge, the vinyl. Some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol. So the next step was to put the template into the CAD environment after I scanned it and I could make sure it was scaled properly and also adjust the scale so I made sure I had good coverage of the yellow. Um, originally I said I was going to scale it up by around 2% and actually if you work it out with the distances that I was working with it wouldn't leave me much um, margin for error. So I went for more like 10, between 10 and 13% to scale it up and then what I did is I just drew the poly lines around well i imported the sketch into the cad and then scaled it correctly and then drew the poly lines around the edges and then i mirrored it about this center line now this center line i'm not sure if it is the real center line so we might have to cut <clears throat> once i print this out as one piece I might have to cut it when it's on the frame and kind of remake the center line and then stick the two halves together um, so far this is what i've come up with Probably good work stand. So I had a bit of trouble with the making the mask. I couldn't find the center line, so I made the center of the template too big. So what I did is I cut the cut down the center line of the template. Got the position on the front correct. And now I'm gonna overlap these bits and tape it together there and that will form the full template for the vinyl. So this is the mask template that I made for the fork legs. I actually did this a much closer scale to what it normally is. And I've now finished uh, the bike, but this one wasn't really that successful because of the compound curve of the crown. It was really, really difficult to get the vinyl to uh, stick and go around it without any kinks or bubbles and creases. And the problem with heating the vinyl up is obviously it stretches and expands and then you've just got more material to, to kind of wrap around small curves and the likelihood of it creasing was just getting worse and worse. So, on the forks I kind of gave up and I did the low, these sort of lower bits, the fork legs, I cut the vinyl here and I used a separate piece of vinyl to do the crown because the crown was just so difficult and I couldn't really get the curvature of the tape to steer a bit right where the, where the bearing sits. So yeah, the forks were a bloody nightmare and uh, <laughs> I almost gave up but uh, yeah, I didn't scale this one up too much because I wanted to keep the reference, the, you know, the center line as a reference but the bike's now done. There it is, 
Uh, we'll get it in some better light and I'll take some better pictures of it. So there it is outside. The uh, down tube piece is pretty good, but the forks, like I said, had real difficulty getting around the crown. So I've got this cut here, I had to cut it so I can stick it down. And then the join is here. But the straight bits are fine. It's just it can't handle the uh, compound curves very well. But yeah, it won't last long until it really gets wet first rainy ride it will probably come off but uh, and then I probably won't do it again <laughs> because the forks were just a pain in the ass maybe a custom paint job is on the cards I think but uh, yeah it's all right it's all right but for a bit of fun make a change but uh, there we go just out for a really gentle ride today as gentle as it can be with uh, hills like that yeah a bit of fun so the other little bits I've done is just get rid of the orange logo on the uh, brake yoke there or the seat stay yoke uh, I've got black vinyl on the chainstay a bit, a, bit, a bit of the purple stuff on the other chainstay and uh, blacked out the TCR logos on the top tube and on the left chainstay got a bit of black at the front just following the natural lines of the yellow graphics and a bit more of the blue here in the same sort of shape and a little blue detail just there <laughs> 